Welcome to DMOP Garage. We are on the Acrasa build and we've also got the Millibug motor. We're going to be doing two motors, but I'm going to focus on this for today. This is the 36 horse motor that we are building into an Acrasa motor, into a 1500cc, something close to that. So we've got some machine work done and we are running... We'll go through all the specs later on. Basically what we're doing today is just drilling and tapping the oil galleries, which I have done a few of them already. And we also have to do the uh, full flow conversion for the front Jeanberg oil kit that we're gonna put on. So we do have to tap this hole here for, and we've got some little bits and pieces over here. This is the, the 36 horse. So we've got, I think we've got a tap in here. So yeah, we've got to do a little bit of that stuff. Also, we have to lock tight the studs because these are just sitting in there. So we'll have to mock up the heads and the barrels on here to make sure we get the right lengths on our studs. And then slowly move forward and get this thing built up. It's going to be a very exciting little motor. Got a lot of the parts down here on the ground. But of course, also, Ivan is going to be building the 1600 here at some stage. So yeah, let's uh, get cracking. Okay, guys, so one of the first things we're going to do is we just got to get our stud heights correct before we uh, glue them in. We're going to use Loctite 290. Uh, that'll just seal the threads in the block so we're not getting leakage. And also, it's a little bit stronger than the red Loctite, so it'll, it'll hold, hold the studs in a little bit better. So I've got them all wound in as far as they go, and we're just going to put the head on now and just see what's what's happening. So there we go, they're done. We'll just grab a head. So I just want to see our heights. All right, so we've got the head down on, and we're just going to check our lengths of studs. So washer. That's about right. Then we've got these special little nuts, which I've got washers inside, and they're just going to run down inside. And I think gap-wise, they're going to be okay. Yeah, that's good. So I think that height for the studs is okay. And we've got washers to put inside these ones as well. Let's double check those. Yep, that's good. All right, so these guys can get Loctited in. We can pull these off now. So pull the head off. All right, we'll uh, take these barrels off and we'll go and do the other side. All right, get some Loctite on these. Now, this Loctite is the wicking kind, so you don't actually have to unscrew them and put it on the thread. You just put it to there and it seeps down into each one, so that's going to be easy to do. Okay, we'll get these done. Yep, excellent. All right, that's good. We can glue those suckers down as well and continue. Okay, guys, so one of the next things we've got to do is tap. We've got to um, increase the size for the full flow to 716, and then we're going to put our little brass elbow and thread that into there. So I'm not going to go straight in with that size because it's a little bit too aggressive and large. So we'll just go down to a, an 8 mil. Do that first. Make sure we're going all the way in, which uh, we're looking good. All right, next size. Okay, all done. We can start the tapping process. 
Okay, so we've got our tap and let's get it started. We'll make sure that we're nice and square. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Alright, we've got a nice threaded tap in there and we can thread our bung. Obviously now we're going to have to take out all these little Allen key plugs and blow out all the swarf and crap out of these galleries. So we'll do that and then we can continue on. Let's go. Okay guys, so we've just got this thing on the ground here for now. We've put our brass little bung for the uh, full flow oil uh, system and um, I've also gone and pretty much glued in all the oil gallery plugs, uh, blown everything out. We've put our 290 Loctite on the studs, on that, on those. We've also blocked off the, we can have a look in here, you can see just in there, we've blocked off our port for the oil pump. So that's been glued in as well. And that's pretty much it for this side of the case. I'm just gonna leave it like that while that 290 wickers down into the threads. The next thing, I've got this little oil deflector baffle from Wolfberg West. So we're going to add that into the snorkel area in here just to stop the blow by because we're going to be running so much horsepower on this sucker. So let's get this thing out here and uh, have a look at it. Just a little baffle. Instructions. So let's have a look. Instructions. So uh, you just basically put it into a vise and you bend it up, down, up, down, up, down, turn around, pick a bale of cotton. Sounds like a lot of fun. All right, let's go and put this in the vise and do some bending. And you can see there, you've got to basically do a bend, a bend up, a bend down, and a bend up, and you end up with this seesaw design. So let's go and chuck this in the vise and uh, get her bent up. Okay, guys, so we've got our little baffle piece and... It just basically lives inside like so. Wedge it in there. It's just going to stop that extra blow-by coming back out. You can see it's actually wedged inside there. Anyway, yeah, one more little modification done. Let's continue. Okay, fellas, so it's next week. We've come back, and as you can see here, we have put our bearings in. We've done our little marks so that we know things are going to drop into position with the crank. So we've just done our little marks on the bearings. Put the dowel pins in and we're going to continue from here. We've got our crank down here on the ground. We're going to sort that out. We've also got an oven boy crank over here somewhere. Where did that go? You've got oh, rid of it. I'll just put it back in the box, man. Okay. Because we're going to get we're going to get the 1600 done at the same time. So we're going to be sort of doing a dual a dual episode. So you got to catch up because I don't think you're got, oh, you're not there yet. Behind. Always behind. Too much drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Hey, where's my coffee? Uh, you have coffee. Yeah, 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 that's right. I'm getting a table because you send me off to get shit and I get distracted. <laughs> we, we need a table. We're getting a table and then we can have some more fun in here. So this is our 356 cam and obviously we've had to take out the dowels, pop them out because we're not going to use those. Oh, well, maybe we will. I don't know. We'll see. That's the original 36 horse gear and we can pop that together, get our holes lined up and we can bolt it. There we go, done deal. So we'll get our bolts worked out. Now you can step these down or you can grind the head of your bolt, but we, we won't know until we pop it in the case to see what the, uh, from the oil pump to see how much clearance we've got. So we'll sort that out in a second and let's set her up. Okay, so what are we doing? We're checking. Coffee. <laughs> we've had coffee, stop okay. that. We're just making sure that that oil hole, even though is is feeding to this groove, because the groove is what feeds the main bearing to your crankshaft, right? So we're going to make sure that that's not cut off halfway by the groove in this bearing. So, so we're going to put a bit of blue goop around the hole, lightly, not too much, because you don't want it all going down the hole. We're going to reinsert your bearing to the pre-marked case half that you've done already. Yep. Match the dowel up to the hole, push it in and see what happens. And wear the appropriate glasses. Glasses? We don't need no stinking glasses around here, do we? Now off camera we also ground back the bolts of the cam to make sure we've got no clearance okay. issues you can with the see pump. Where the round, you can see on the case where the blue is thick, Yes, it's, it is running right in the groove. Right, 
Okay. So there's no issue with that. Yep. It's, it's online. Okay. So it's good. So we use a nice little clean rag and clean it all up and try not to get in the hole. You can have a look in here. We're just, we've done that little mod to drain the oil back out of the back seal. Thanks, Gary, for that one. Just we've put these little pieces, the little retaining clips for the rods. Now, these are the original ones. Of course, we have to shorten those, make them into a two-piece. Righto, guys, so we are oven boys up at the oven, and he's bringing down the cogs for us, the cam gear and the distributor drive brass gear. And you can see I've already put the bearing on, so we've got that. We've got some assembly lube behind it. We've put our keyway in, and we are ready to rock and roll. The first item off the shelf is this little fella. Yes, and we so want to have dots. dots. See, it's got a chamfer on one side. Yes, it does. And no chamfer on that side. See dot. dots. There's the dots. Right. Yes. So your dots are coming this way. It's going on that way. Yeah. Correct. And it's hot. It's hot as fuck. Hot oh, to teach her. You need to see what I'm doing because I can't fucking yeah. see shit. Yeah. You have to line up the, you have to line up the, the, the dot. You got better eyes than me, man. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, it's oh. going to go nicely. Okay, okay collar. Collar. Collar dot. And this one here, I usually use... And the, the collar goes like that against that, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Yes. See, this one's got the, the collar mark on it already. Yes, and does so it on that side that do the same way? Yeah. Or So, yeah. well, it's up to you, but usually the collar, I go collar, it doesn't make a difference. So, no. so it's, it's, still read, it's still going to read the teeth, isn't it? So, okay. okay. Good. So then you need your spring clip. Yeah. I'm putting my glasses on. So what you <laughs> do... Well done. <laughs> and all you do for the best, best of luck is just to tap this, just to make best sure. Best of luck. You like this. There you go. Look at that. So that's done. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay that. Get your bearings. At least get a back bearing in. Uh, uh, yeah, which is yeah. this one right here. Yeah, you can okay. put that on the back with oil grease uh, with your assembly loop. Yeah. Right. You can put it on the crank if you want to. Yeah. Well, that's it's, got to go yeah. it's got to go on the crank. Yeah. It's got to go on the crank. Now remember, these gears are hot. So no on. Lucy. That way, which means that's got to go that way. So we're going to pop that on like so. Clean the hands. Now I'm going to spin you guys around over to here. We're going to put this crank into the wagon, into the cranking wagon. Um, okay, guys. So what we're doing now is just testing these lifters to make sure they fall under their own weight with a little bit of assembly lube on them. And you can see they're quite finicky to get them adjusted properly. But once you do get them in, there you go. You can see that works really good. Same with that one. That's probably a little bit groupier, mate. You can only adjust. One adjustment does both. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, okay. that's right. One adjustment does all. Unless no, they're, they're pretty good. They're not excessive. They're, not they're quite dry. They look square to the crank shaft, other cam shaft. So. Yeah, that's right. And all we've got to do now is tighten them and then bend our little tab over to stop them coming loose and we're all good. Alright, here we go. So, pick this up. Why do these things have to be so heavy? So that's why we've got lines on these suckers, right? So that's you know right. Going. So your dowel is... Yeah, keep going all the way underneath. I'll get my... So always get your hands out. Turn you all the way around. Turn you all the way around. Okay. Oh, from each end. So don't push it down. No. Yep. Okay, just rock the bearings. I can't see. I don't think. No, no, the back is in. Yeah. Okay. So remember that when you do it next time, how much. Um... Yeah, it's a little bit of. Mm. Well, the, well, so what we have to do is see see the um, the end of this thing and the studs? You're going to make sure they're all clean. So if that had a con rod on it, would it be hitting it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll grab the cam. That, that feels like it's feels firm in the spinny, without being bony. And then we want to get our numbers now. Okay, so I'll, give me the dots. Yep, dots are right here. These two. So do put that in. Yep, that's it. Roll it round. Okay, and we'll have to get. So what you want to do is see if it binds up. So you got to try and this isn't any. any Yeah, you don't want any lash between the two. So you usually just move the cam gear. Yeah. You'll hear it if you're if there's anything there. If it's too tight. 
Yeah, something's... Something's not right, is it? Yeah, something's hitting there. So there's an issue there. So there's, a, there's an issue somewhere with all that. Oh, yeah, you can see it here coming off the... Off the gear. Yeah. Okay. So we want to check for play that way too, make sure you've got enough clearance in that. So that would mean to me that this gear is probably too big. Yeah. Or there's you have to, there's an issue with the teeth. So you have to check your teeth. And you see all the edges? Look at the edges on these things. Have they been skewed? Yep. See on there? Yep. So you might see, um, file all those ones nice and clean. Yep. Oh, yeah, you can see it here. Look what it's doing to it. Yeah, it'll chew it out real quick. Yep. Yeah. See that? Yeah, yeah. So basically, what's happening is the cam gear is in a different position to what it was originally, where it was just running at that edge there. Yes. Now it's taking the full teeth out, which is probably good anyway. So all these little corners that have been knocked. Yes, we've got to I've got to call them. an issue. Yeah, so you have to clean all those little puppies up. Right. It's a real pain because it's on the camshaft. So we might have to take that off to make it easier. Or you reckon you get a little dremel in there or something? Because any filings will go into that bearing mount. Oh, fuck, yeah. yeah. That's not good, is no, it? No, it's not. So mm. I didn't look at that before we did it. So, But that's definitely an issue. I don't think the clearances are bad because it rolls well between the teeth just when it gets to those little bumps. Bump, 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 Okay, bump. let me get a text up. So well, how many are there which... first? Bump, bump, bump. What's the gear on that one like? Well, well, you this, just swap the gear over. Well, that's what I'm thinking too, because I think this one was this one was definitely the better one. Okay, okay. Before we do it, that looks way better. Okay, before we do it, let's get your cam again, because the the thing was leaning to the front. Hey, the this the the the, the crank's leaning to the front, so it might not need it. So grab your gear, gear again, hmm. roll it in. Okay, let me find the holes for you. Oh, yeah, here, those two there. Oh no, it's still going to hit it. Hmm. Still going to hit because it was before it was quite fur forward. There you go. See how the cam position is different now against the gog cog. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's still, still binding. Okay, isn't it? Cool. Just to check it, just to see how much we had. Okay, you win. Right, hey guys. So unfortunately, we cannot do a test fit of everything because we're going to have to swap over these gears. This gear I had actually taken off panel van builds motor which had 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 a catastrophic failure and i've got a feeling some of these teeth are a bit warped so we're going to take this one off take that one off swap them with the crank i've got down here which is actually the original crank that came out of this motor so i think we just decided we're going to use that both of those cogs instead so i've got to bring a couple of tools from home so we can continue that that part of it so yeah i think that'll probably be it for this one and i'll bring you guys back in when we continue the acrasa build for the 57 ophelia beetle see you in the next one Yo.